today I'll be showing you how to do a clean install of Mac OS on any Mac. What you're going to need is your Mac and a USB flash drive that is preferably USB 3.0 and 16 gigabytes or larger. USB 2.0 will work but it'll be a little bit slow. This is a general tutorial for all Macs and you can use this tutorial to install whatever Mac OS version you want and uh, it's very simple so just follow these steps and you should be good to go. What you're going to want to do is go into your browser and search on Google for Mac OS Ventura download or you can substitute Ventura for Monterey or any upcoming um, that Mac OS versions. Uh, this will work with that too. Um, it also works with Mojave and Catalina as I've tried those already before. Click on the link that takes you to apple.com which will open it up in the Mac App Store. You want to go ahead and download that. It's going to take some time depending on the speed of your Mac and your Wi-Fi connection or Ethernet connection. Uh, it's usually around 12 to 13 gigabytes, this full installer. So after that, you can go ahead and close out Safari or your browser. And you're going to want to plug in your flash drive. So go ahead and plug that in and then open up Disk Utility. You'll be brought to this screen. Click on this View tab here, or the View up here, and you want to click on Show All Devices. And you will see that whatever brand your flash drive is, you want to click on that very top one, and then click Erase, and then you want to title it something like Mac OS Ventura. It doesn't matter because it's going to get changed, but you need a title in there. Format should be Mac OS Extended Journaled. And then your scheme should be GUID Partition Map. And then click Erase. I've already done this to save some time. But after that, you can go ahead and close that out. Open up your Finder. And you will see where that Mac OS uh, Ventura or whatever you downloaded has been placed. So you don't want to open that up open up terminal also I'm gonna go ahead and clear that and what you're gonna to want to do is in your finder here you're going to click on the install Mac OS dot app right click or double click or whatever you have it set to to bring up this menu click on show package contents double click on sh the contents scroll down to you see resources and then scroll all the way down until you see Create Install Media. Not this one, you want the Create Install Media. That's it. Come over here to the terminal, type in sudo space, and drag in that Create Install Media. If you want to click on your terminal window, type in hyphen hyphen, and then volume space. Click on your Finder window now, click on Go, go to Folder, and then type in slash volumes. Click on Return, and then drag your Mac OS Ventura, whatever you named that USB flash drive, and you're going to want to just drag that in. Uh, click on your terminal window, click on Return, type in your Mac password. Hit enter. It might seem like it's freezing at first, but you just need to give it some time and it will uh, do its thing and it will bring you to the screen. You want to type in the capital Y for yes and then hit return. It will go ahead and erase the disk and load up the installer on your USB flash drive. Once it's done, your terminal window will show this right here with the percent symbol and your finder window will now read install Mac OS and your version, in my case Ventura. So this is the USB flash drive now. Uh, don't delete anything in here. Uh, once you're done with this, you can go ahead and close these windows. I'm just going to go ahead and click to enter clear and then close these windows. And then you're going to just shut down your computer via the Apple logo in the top left corner. 
and then we'll resume on the external camera. Okay, so once the Mac is powered off, you want to still ensure that your USB flash drive is connected and you should really plug in your uh, power source or charger into your Mac. If you're using a Mac mini, you don't have to worry about that. Um, if you have a non-M series MacBook, you're going to want to hold on the option key and press the power button and continue holding on the option key. If you have an M series Mac like I do, I'm using a MacBook Air M1. If you have an M1 or an M2 or M series Mac, you're going to want to just hold on the power button and just continue to hold on the power button so it will load up the startup options. And then you can let go after it says loading startup options. You will be brought to this screen and what you're gonna to wanna to do is open up the install macOS Ventura. So click continue and it will boot from the USB flash drive. Once that happens, you will see this come up. So let me just zoom out. And then all you're gonna to wanna to do is click on the install Mac OS Ventura here, click quit install Mac OS, click quit. And then you're gonna be brought to this screen. You want to click on the disk utility, click continue. Go into your view here, or you can go up here, click the view, show all devices, and disregard the external and disk images right here. You're going to want to click on the very top Apple SSD or HDD or uh, whatever it says up here, and then you're going to want to click on erase. And then I would, I'm just going to title mine MacBook Air. And you can title it whatever you want. Your format should be APFS and your scheme should be GUID partition map. So zoom in a little bit. And then you're just gonna go ahead and click erase and then erase Mac. And then it will say this um, all media and that will be erase. And then just click on erase. Hold the power button and to bring up the startup options, continue to hold that. Again, if you're using an Intel-based Mac, you're going to want to hold the option key and then press on the power button and continue to hold on the option key. So this brings up the boot menu again here. What you're going to want to do is go into install Mac OS, click continue and it'll boot into the USB. Select your language, connect to your Wi-Fi. So in the top right corner, select your Wi-Fi network up there and then um, join it. Once you have joined your network, it will go ahead and activate your Mac. And now once it says your Mac is activated, you can click on exit to recovery. Once you click exit to recovery, you'll be brought to the screen. Click continue and then click agree and then agree again. And then you want to install it to the drive that uh, we renamed and erased and then click continue. And then it will go ahead and install the Mac OS uh, version on your Mac. So when it's all said and done, you'll be brought to this screen. Um, there were a few restarts, I'd say about two or three restarts that occurred before the screen showed up. Um, but once you reach this select your country or region screen, all you have to do is set up your Mac from there. You can go ahead and disconnect the USB and use that for whatever you want. You can format it, erase it. Um, now that the Mac OS is installed onto your disk that's inside your Mac. Um, so if you have any comments, questions, or concerns, leave them in the comment section below. And hopefully this worked for you. 
Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.